Hello, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today, and today we're going to do an interesting math trick, more of a math method actually, we're going to uh, learn how to multiply using drawn lines, and this is a, a method that people actually use in some parts of the world to teach multiplication, so we're going to test it out today, uh, so you guys know how to do it, what we're just going to do is simple, we're going to do 12 times 13, shouldn't be too difficult, and how to do this is actually pretty cool. I, I enjoy uh, seeing this done. Um, I hope you guys do as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the 1 in the 12. And to do that, we're just going to draw one line like this. That's going to be our, our 1. And then for the 2, we just leave a little space and we draw two lines. So these lines are going to be uh, next to each other. Um, pretty close because they're the two and then they're separated from the one but they are going the same direction they're parallel um, sorry if these are a little bit squiggly it's hard to draw straight lines on this so for the 13 we're gonna do the same thing just in the opposite direction so start off with that one line uh, actually sorry we're gonna put the one line down here and then the three lines we're gonna put up here one two three awesome so we have our little grid drawn out um, you can see that the 1 is here for the 12, and then the 2 are these two lines over here. And then the 1 and the 3 goes down here, and the, uh, sorry, the 1 and the 13, and the 3 and the 13 goes up here. Now, we have these lines drawn out. What do we do? So, the first thing to do is separate them into groups. We've got one group over here, which is sort of like the middle. Okay. Then we've got a group over here, which is the right. And then there's a group over here. Managed to pick the same color. That's the left. I'll throw a different shade on that just so you guys can. Cool. So we've got the left, the middle, and the right. We've made a little percentage sign. Uh, but what we're going to do now is pretty cool. Using red, I'm just going to count. Obviously, so we have one connection there. Just count the places they the lines meet up, intersections. You've got three over here and two down here. And then over here, you've got six. So what do we do now? <laughs> well, this is the cool part. Uh, if I pull up the calculator and throw it up over here, we know that 12 times 13 is 156. How do we turn this into 156? Well, it's simple. You easily take one from the left, three plus two in the middle is five, and you've got six over here on the right. There's your final answer. You got 156. Um, so again, this can also be done with way larger numbers. There's ways to do this with, and uh, I'm not joking when I say you can do this with three digit numbers, four digit numbers, oh, way higher above. You just have to change the method slightly. Um, we'll probably explain that if anyone asks, but you know, it's, it's nice to stick around with two digit numbers. This is a pretty simple way to multiply. I like it because it's a cool way to show your kids. If you're ever trying to like teach like a little kid how to multiply, this is a very visual way for them to see it and kind of understand what's going on where the two lines cross. There's an intersection. I think it's pretty cool. And also it looks kind of nice after you're done. You know, if you show someone this picture, it looks like you did cooler work. I dare you, if you are still at an age where you are doing multiplication quizzes in school, you probably aren't if you're watching this channel, but if you are, please do this on a test and watch your teachers look at you funny. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ethan from Synthetic Programming. Really appreciate all the support we've been getting recently. Again, guys, keep it up. Check out the Facebook page and the website. There's links in the description. We have a Twitter now as well. Follow that if you'd like. Uh, comment on this video, tell us what you thought, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.